So now I come to rebuild Cairo. Um, this should have all the re requisites. Yep, I think it's just being reinstalled for QT. So let's expand it. Let's have a look at the options we've got here. Um, right, some experimental options. I think I did them before because it says they're used by some window managers, so anything that may break things possibly. Um, so Wayland we're using, so it might be a good idea to add this and we'll build some documentation. So let's have a quick look at this status here. XML, so we could enable that. Found QT for some reason. So let's add in enable XML and enable QT. Don't know why it's not found that. Um, unless it's the libraries I need to load, possibly. Oh, requires QT4 development libraries. Right, okay. Um, I will do an LD config. So that's why I can't do the QT. Let's see what else happens. I've left the enable XML in there. Let's see if it's picked that up. Yes, it's picked that up this time. And set it to OS2. This two that's ancient, isn't it? Um, I don't know really if we want to enable open GL ES2 and 3. I suppose you might want to. I think I'll leave that for now. Next to Exodus. So the, there are uh, enablers of preview. So is the OpenGL. So is the ET, which I've enabled already. And so is XML actually. So I'm going to leave that as it is. And maybe if we see any breakage, then that's something we can maybe rebuild Cairo and disable those features. So again there's no test suite so I'll just make install this. So sudo minus C, we can stop. It's done. So we can get rid of that tab. Mark off as complete on my rebuild list. And just got two more small packages to do, and then we've got the three. That are waiting for KDE and Plasma. So let me just mark off Cairo. I'll we'll check it's marked off my list. Um, 
didn't see where it was from. Next line is 25. Oh yes. Right. So let's do DRM next. Just quickly checking. I've got these. I think we did the Atomic Ops. The Atomic Ops SO. Yep, it's there. So I'll just extract the DRM. build it there's no extra options so I'm just going to copy all of this in run ninja test make sure it's all okay I think that's all pass of one skip, so we can do ninja install and tidy up. So that's the next libraries again. Lib DRM right, I haven't actually crossed that one off for some reason, so it's crossed off now. And it's been taken off my rebuild list. So we just got object introspection now. And again we've got all the um, packages installed. I'm pretty sure we've got Mako. Oh yes, a Python module, that's right. Mako, 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 yeah that's there. So let's Extract G object introspection. Um, we've got some extra options to add to the configure command. So let's look at them. Let's copy those two dots, all important dots. GTK doc equals true. So add that in. Cairo is true and doc tool, let's try that one as well. Neither directory contains a build file meson.build. Oh right, okay. So uh oh, C D I have CD into it, I thought I'd CD'd into it, I haven't. So mkdir build CD build. Now let's try that configure command should work. Yep, let's do ninja to build it. And 
sentence built build stop subcommand failed. Oh, it's this GIR doc tool. That's nothing to do, this is it. Record tests. Install GIR doc tool. Import mark, all right, it needs markdown, so we can't actually do that so let's start all over again and run the configure again but this time without the dock tool build it so it's got five fewer units to compile this time So that hasn't failed this time. So let's test two failures. Package, all oh right, we've got package config. That's interesting. And doc writer, that's one that is mentioned. Um, I don't know what the package config is. I wonder if it's related to Doc Writer being as it's uh, right next to it. Oh, it needs the module markdown. Test Doc Writer. Package config. All oh, right, it's to do with these Unicode, this subtle Unicode error has been getting. So I'm going to ignore that. I've had a few like that. I don't know why that is. Maybe the locale I'm using is not completely compatible. So, um, can ignore that and just build it, uh, install it now with sudo e ninja install so that is the end of all my rebuilds that I can do at the moment leaving only three so I've gone from a grand total of 90 rebuilds down to three um, and this is all due to uh, the need to supply or mainly due to the need to supply support for documentation had I not gone down that route I wouldn't have had so many rebuilds and um, probably wouldn't have gone on for so long so it's, it's something that really should only be done if absolutely necessary um, especially as a lot of the documentation is API related which you'd only be interested in as a programmer um, but it's something I've never done before I know I have started it before and realized how deep I was getting into um, but doing that but I'm glad I've at least done it once and recorded it for posterity um, I don't think I'll be doing it again in a hurry so what I'll be doing now from now on is concentrating on individual applications or in, um, specific functionality so if, if we look through the index here if I go through to the top you'll see exactly how much work we've done so alright it hasn't got the original pages because this is before we had the graphical environment but all of these we've visited in fact I could in theory just whiz through them just to get the the links all changing colour um, just for completeness uh, let's 
So just bear with me while I go through this. So I've just got section three to do. Then we're in security and then the vulnerability. So if I go back to the home and right back to the beginning again, so you can see that makes more of an impact to see what we've done. We did actually go through a few of these um, picking out certain ones. I think we've got have have G yeah, I think we have is it have get because this starts up as a service, so let's just check that one. Let's tidy this up. Right, it's not starting as a ordinary user. Yeah, there it is there, so we've definitely got that one. And that's the thing, some of these would, would have been clicked on before. Um, we actually got the Falcon up and running, so that's why, for example, Shadow we've used. Um, we've rebuilt that one, so if I click on that. So what you see here, there's there's more than what you see here, in fact, um, that's been built. But even then, you can see there's quite a few places we've visited. I mean, nearly all of this section, general libraries, general libraries rather, has been um, built. All of graphics and font libraries, except for Newt, has been built. General utilities, about half of that. System utilities again, roughly half. Programming, nearly all of it. There's only a couple really. Java, we've done a complete Java installation as far as BLFS is concerned. Networking, about half complete. Networking libraries are almost complete. Um, installed half the servers that are available. All the, I know we didn't install all the mail server server software. We looked at them. I um, can't remember which one we installed now. Was it Postfix, possibly? Um, we have installed all these databases. We have installed these two. We've obviously installed all of the X windows, in fact. We've looked at these as well. I'm not sure about the TTF bit. Um, definitely done X in it because that's what starts Xorg. Um, X libraries, yeah, probably at least 60% of them have been installed. So really the, the things that we're concentrating on in future videos are the display managers, we go and go through each of them. The window managers, these icons will probably get picked up and I mean, suppose if they don't we can install them as well. Then I'll be installing KDE with some of the extra packages that come with that. Then for the first time in a very long time. I haven't installed GNOME for a long time. I'll be attempting to install that. That looks quite a quite an intensive uh, build. That does quite a few packages there. Or well, I imagine they're quite small. A lot of them. I'll be building the XFCE desktop and the LXDE, and then some of these extra X programs, such as these Office ones here. I'll be building with the other graphical browsers as well. Falcon's down for rebuild. And maybe one or two of these other X-based programs. Thunderbird is an email client. I'll be building that one. Screensaver is a good one. Uh, that'll probably pull in some of these sound files. There's some audio utilities. May pull in a few of them. Some of these video ones like mPlayer for playing videos. VLC is a popular one. And then maybe some of these CD DVD writing, and as you can see, the rest of it mainly utilities um, that are mostly already installed. So, the fact that we've got most of the libraries installed means that when we come to do these other applications, we will mostly be concentrating on the applications and there'll just be the odd library to install. So, it should be a lot simpler than had we done it the other way around. But apart from that, I'm going to shut this down now and bring this long um, section to a close where we've been building this um, 
plate of spaghetti really of uh, interdependent libraries and tools and so on and programs to close and um, next video I'll be doing will be um, probably one of the um, login managers what they call them the uh, where is it? this display manager that's it that's what they call them can never remember and then probably start building some of the window managers and then move on to some of the more basic desktop environments such as XFCE and LXDE and go on from there.